Do you find yourself turning to food to medicate anxiety? It's quite often that I see that in my practice in helping women stop emotional eating and end uncontrollable food cravings. They've developed the habit of turning to food to medicate the underlying anxiety. And so the way to solve that problem, of course, is to address the anxiety. Because once you clear the anxiety up, then the need to turn to food or anything else to sort of anesthetize yourself or medicate goes away. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply a very user-friendly technique that has been scientifically proven to create the relaxation response in the body, activate the parasympathetic response, and de-stress the system, thus alleviating anxiety. I've seen it time and time again in my own life and with my clients, how easy and effective this technique is. Hi, I'm Maria LaPuma, and I help women stop emotional eating and end addictive food cravings. And the practice that I'm going to share with you today is called Emotional Freedom Techniques, also known as tapping. And if you're on my YouTube channel, you've probably seen many of the videos that I've made connected to tapping. It's a wonderful evidence-based technique that has been effective in so many areas. And it's wonderful in dealing with anxiety because often anxiety is really trapped energy in our body. And the wonderful thing about tapping is that it gets the energy flowing and ultimately enables you to release it and let it go. Because when we're suppressing our energy or it's trapped in the body, it doesn't really have a place to go. And so it gets exacerbated. And, and creates even more of a stress response. And when we're in a stress response, then the worst possible scenarios come up because the brain is sort of conditioned. If it feels like it's in the fight, flight, freeze response, it's conditioned to look for the worst possible thing that can go on. And so it exacerbates all the fears and all the worries that create even more anxiety. And it becomes a loop, a, a problematic loop that gets worse and worse as time goes on. So tapping is a wonderful way to alleviate the anxiety in the moment, get the energy flowing. And it can also be very effective in enabling you to get to the core of why the anxiety is there in the first place. That is often done with a skilled practitioner. However, Taking, getting rid of the anxiety in the moment is something that you can do on your own. So for today's purposes, I'm going to teach you this simple technique that you can start applying right now and enable you to start to relax more fully, deactivate that stress response, activate the parasympathetic response, and help you to calm down the body, calm down the brain, and eliminate anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious now, even having me talk about it, or it's up for you, simply tapping on your collarbone is a great place to start. So tapping is a meridian-based therapy, and we stimulate various meridian points on the body. And when we do that, it actually tells the brain to relax. It tells the body to relax. So tapping on the collarbone will get that going right now. I have a client who had a terrible accident and as a result, she was not able to sleep for a couple of years because of she, she had due to so much anxiety. And this simple point actually activated the relaxation response for her and thus enabled her to start to sleep through the night. So notice how this feels when you tap here and then bring the breath into it, breathing in and letting go. And the breath will also activate the relaxation response in your body. So I'm gonna take you through a full sequence of tapping now. If you're new to tapping in the thread below, I'm going to, Set, put a link that'll bring you to a video that'll 
give you more detail about what this technique is. But for today's purposes, I encourage you to follow along, take responsibility for yourself and your well-being. So I like to start with the heart. Bring your hands to your heart, one hand over the other, and close your eyes or soften your gaze and tune into your body. And if you are feeling activated, if you are feeling anxious, you can just give yourself the signal that all is well. Maybe you want to say something soothing to yourself right now. All is well in this moment. And breathing in and letting go. And then notice how your body is feeling. Bringing some gentle breath and awareness to any areas of your body that are speaking to you. Again, take another breath in and let it go. And then you can start by tapping the top of the head. It's a gentle tapping on the top of the head, stimulating the, the meridian point that's located there. And if you're in a comfortable, safe place, again, you can close your eyes or soften your gaze. Tune into the sensation of your fingertips touching your skin and tuning into your breath. And then tapping on the third eye, just a gentle stimulation and breathing in and out at each point. I like to say ease and flow, release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. And then the next point is on the eyebrow point. So just where the hair of the eyebrow begins. And again, take a breath in and let it go. And if you have both hands free, go ahead and use both of them. If you don't have, you can do one side or the other. It works, it's just as effective. And take another breath in and let it go and the side of the eye and just stay curious and aware. Tuning into your breath, tuning into your body and maybe some thoughts, feelings and emotions are arising and that's energy as well. So you wanna let that flow, ease and flow, release and let go, breathing in and letting go. Underneath the eye, Ease and flow, release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. The top of the lip. Noticing the sensation of your breath coming into your body. On the relaxation, just letting it go. Ease and flow. And the crease of the chin. Soften and flow, release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. And the collarbone. And again, bringing in more ease and flow, release and let go. And again, if any thoughts, feelings, emotions arise, maybe connected to anxiety, maybe not connected to anxiety, you wanna just let it all go. Ease and flow, release and let go. You don't have to hold on to it. You can let it go. It's just energy and energy wants to flow. Tapping underneath the arm. You can both do both sides if you like. Some people like to do it like this. Ease and flow, release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. Back to the top of the head. And now if you feel comfortable to close your eyes and tune into something that reminds you of ease and flow, maybe connecting to a place where you felt at ease, at peace, in the flow, safe, and tapping into that experience, ease and flow, release and let go, reminding your body that in this moment all is well, that you are safe, and that as you release the energy, the stored up energy, you'll come deeper and deeper into relaxation and presence. Ease and flow, release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. 
and the side of the eye. Take another breath in and let it go. Underneath the eye, ease and flow. Release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. Again, the top of the lip. Again, breathing in and letting go. The crease of the chin. Ease and flow. Release and let go. The collarbone. So the collarbone is just where the bone sticks up, that little underneath. Ease and flow. Release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. Underneath the arm. Top of the head. Bring your hands back to your heart, one hand over the other. You can wiggle your shoulders, move your neck a little bit. Tuning into your body once again, noticing how you're feeling. Maybe you're still feeling some energy move. You can go through this again. Just go back and re-watch it, re-experience it. And as you do that, you can get calmer and calmer. What is it that you can say to yourself that will calm you down? What is it that you could say to your body to let your body know that in this moment, all is well and you are safe and secure? I hope that that was helpful. I would love to hear your response to this. If you are needing some deeper work, because as I shared before, Often getting to some of the core reasons why the anxiety is there in the first place will be most effective in enabling you to be free of anxiety and not needing to turn to food or anything else to self-medicate. You are, I'm happy to have you reach out to me. I offer a free strategy call. You can click on the link below. I'd be happy to share with you what steps you can take and how we might potentially work together to help you to clear up the root cause of what's keeping you stuck in destructive patterns. So again, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? Was it helpful? And um, until next time, keep taking good care of yourself. Bye now.